Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Modern Skyblock 3. Day between episodes, I did a bunch, so let's take a look here and get right to it and uh, check things out here. So, I moved my whole base around, I kind of made the uh, platform yet a little bigger. Uh, I kind of organized all my chest, I did a lot of trashing, a lot of recycling, all that jazz. Just to get it kind of cleaned up here. You can see here, I kind of moved everything, so I even moved my uh, cobblestone generator, just so it was kind of over here and closer to stuff. Also threw a crucible on top. So I can throw, you know, the um, blaze powder blocks in here and just uh, make the lava where we need it. So that is pretty cool. Just a way to utilize that single block of lava. Uh, over here, the uh, trees, I actually add slabs above. Because someone did tell me how many blocks above they're supposed to be. And they're actually supposed to be, you leave eight blocks for the trees and on the ninth you put your slabs. So pretty cool. And I also found this. This is pretty cool here. This is the Shears of Winter. Got this from a basic loot bag. And, uh, yeah, you just hold right-click with it, and boom. <laughs> it just brings down all of the leaves, and uh, makes your life a lot easier. But uh, I'm going to do this so I get some saplings as well, so I can replant. There we go. So I've been cutting down trees and making charcoal, because we need tons of charcoal. The things you really need in this, early on. Tons of charcoal, <laughs> insane amounts of gunpowder. So gunpowder, that is why you need the mob farm so early, and why we really need to get a mob farm automated. But I think we have to unlock the next quest lines to be able to get to that automation. So, definitely the thing. And blaze powder. But you need gunpowder to make blaze powder. So, <laughs> it's catch-22 there. Uh, I did um, set up this here, the farms. So I have two of them. One on each side. This side was grass. I left one of the grass blocks here. Uh, what I did was just come over here with bone meal. And when, when this was all grass, it bone meal. As the grass grew, just broke it. And uh, got all my seeds. So, I did complete that quest. I haven't actually traded it in yet. But, uh, yeah, did that. Got a bunch of stuff growing. Potato, carrot. Uh, I guess that's flax. We don't even need flax, really. Got melon, but no melons have grown yet. Uh, coffee seeds and canola. And on this side, we got hemp. We got rice. Or rice slime balls, I suppose. And, uh, fluffy puff. And, uh, wheat. And then I got my melon and my pumpkin. But fluffy puff is the one I'm gonna show. Everyone knows all the rest. But the fluffy puff, pretty neat. It can be used for paper, string, feathers, which is actually awesome. And, uh, wool. So, yeah, pretty awesome little thing there. But, uh, we'll just throw that in there right now. I did this to the industrial hemp. I don't know if we need it, but uh, I figured we'd just get it. Then I don't have to think about it, right? Anyway, I'll throw that in there. Let's go. No, oh, not in there. Let's go to our bag real quick. Boom. And, uh, I really don't need my comma. I actually upgraded it to, uh, stone before I found that. Um, uh, but, uh, we may... I don't know. I, I really don't think we're gonna need it at all anymore. So, yeah. A little bit of a throwaway item, but uh, anyway, that is pretty much everything I did. Uh, we are going to grab this really quick, so let's grab all our cactus. Boom, and boom. I have some more in this, and I honestly don't think we need these anymore either, because I'm pretty sure we have a way of upgrading this, so let's go and get a couple quests done here. So, let's go. I guess we all want to go here. Let's go to quest. Let's go to quest book. Let's grab this one, which was the seeds. And then we're going to work on this compressed cactus, which should be pretty easy. We have some cactus here. And uh, we might as well make two. We only need one. I'm actually going to aim for three. Uh, we're also going to need, I believe, a couple of these. So compressed sand. There we go. Got to take those. Bam. I think that's going to give us quest. It did. So we might as well grab the quest. Bam. Go to the quest book. Go to the basic. No, right there. And you'll see here, right at the bottom. And can be grown on compressed sand. So this stuff could be used, you know. Um... Water extractor from it, if you really need water, I guess. Uh, you can also use it to make the cactus fruit, which you can then turn into dirt. So it's an option to make dirt. And it's also food. So it can, you know, it has its uses. And uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, they want us to have them. So I'm guessing we're going to need them at some point. Let's go. I guess boom, boom, and boom. And uh, yeah, we can grow this. So we can probably, I'm assuming, just do that. I think that's going to grow. Guess we'll wait over time. If it does grow, then I'm going to move one over here. Kind of call that a day. Uh, let's grab this. See what we got in our loot bag. Another diamond cutting knife. Don't really need those, to be honest. So I guess the next thing we're going to do. So it wants us to upgrade our freezer. So we could do that. But it wants us to have a frozen iron ingot. That's not too big a deal. But it also wants us to get the sluice box. And this sounds cool. You can crush your ores on the crushing table to obtain rocky chunks, which can be used on a sluice box with water for doubling. So you, apparently we can double. That's what I'm looking at. Doubling the amount of ingots you get for a chance of getting uh, different extra metal. 
The only thing is it wants you to have crushed ores. So we're going to have to break down ores because I think if you go here, let's go to sluice box. Sluice here and go to use. You'll see here, it wants these like iron rock, rocky ore. It actually needs uh, iron ore to do that. It can't use that uh, chemical stuff, but uh, we can make those ores. So actually, let's go to, again, uh, recipe on that. Bam. And check out the recipe on this. So there's actually a recipe for this in here. Using stone instead of that crystal liquid, we can actually make iron ore ore. Iron ore ore? <laughs> we can just make iron ore and uh, kind of get that. That is a different route. Uh, and I'm thinking about switching that because we can use both. I think this is actually going to produce more stuff over the while, you know, over the long run. Like, be more efficient. I just have no clue, uh, clue how to use... Oh, I got milk. <laughs> Cow in a jar. That's actually awesome because we can get milk now. Let's just throw them there. Look at that. Little cow in a jar. You see their milk store going up. That's actually a really good reward. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna look at that sluice box. Is guess what I'm trying to go on about? What I'm kind of rambling about. But uh, we are gonna finish that other quest for the freezer. It wanted us to take one of these and do this. So we're gonna do that real quick. I'm actually gonna take seven more because I think there's another quest after this to upgrade the freezer. So we're gonna kind of do that. Um, I might need some more iron here, and I kind of got some going. Uh, let's look at the sluice box, because I'm pretty sure I looked at it and saw the recipe. Boom. It wants us to have an iron mesh. So we need to make these plates, I suppose. To make those, we're going to have to use this table. I don't think this is going to work with the slab here. The reason I'm putting those slabs everywhere is um, there's none around right now. There's these evolved endermen that can spawn. And they spawn, you know, on non-half slab blocks, you know what I mean? Normal level, just like a regular mob. And, uh... They just kind of wander around. They can spawn during the day and stuff, and light levels don't seem to affect them. They're kind of annoying, to be honest, but uh, nothing we can do about them. I'm trying to limit limit uh, how much many of them can spawn, though, until we get into mega torches, because uh, that'll deal with them. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. That's weird. I'm a little worried now. How many is there? There's one there. I need five, right? Bam. It automatically pulled the iron, so I'm going to show you here. There. I'm just holding down the button now, so I didn't want to do too many. <laughs> That's the only reason I kind of panicked there. Let's grab that. Bam. Cool that you can do that. You don't have to sit there and hold on it or wail on it all day. Bam. And bam. There we go. And I guess we can make the sluice now. I have, like I said, no clue how this thing works. We're going to have to figure that out. And uh, kind of, yeah, see how it goes. You can throw it down. It does not have an interface, so I'm guessing we just kind of have to drop an ore here, maybe? Maybe put ore water here? Maybe? <laughs> I'm kind of guessing here. I have no idea. Okay, let's try making... I'm trying to think of how to do this, because we need to get iron ore, right? Which is here, which I currently have set up for this crystal fluid. Uh, we may have to change this over. Trying to think. What would be the best way to do this? You know what? Let's look at a quest first. And let's actually do... Here, basic resources. That, that. Oh, we didn't get our sluice box. What? Give me my quest, man. <laughs> there we go. We got that quest. Let's get that done. Bam. Sometimes if you go too fast, it's just like, nope, you're not getting it. So what I think I might do is this. Let's go here. Bam. Let's close that off. I'm going to pull this out of here right now. And kind of move it and try to test it for a different setup. So if I was going to do a completely different setup, probably the easiest way to do it. Because I need to, I'm not even sure this is going to work, right? So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have to get smooth stone on top of this, right? So I'm going to need a smooth stone generator. It's basically what I'm going to need. So let's go. Bam. And bam. Just so we can get up here really easy. And I'm probably going to need some trap doors. And I'm just thinking here. It'd be something like that that there we go so let's go get a bunch of trap doors i know that looks kind of silly but it makes sense to me there we go bam and bam i'm just trying to see if i can automate this thing to be honest <laughs> i think i am going to be able to that's not a trap door at all what am i making that's a label who taught me how to make trap doors anyway let's go here let's grab some of those a whole bunch of guests and try this out so the way to make uh, smooth uh, smooth stone, so you know what I mean, uh, just uh, you know stone generator basically, but uh, usually it's referred to as a smooth stone generator. Um, 
is you have to have the lava over the water. So lava would sit up here, right? So it would go right that. I do not need that one. Let's get that out of there. This actually would be pretty easy, I think. Let's go like this. So we can kind of lock the lava in. So that would work, right? I'll get this loose out of my way. Okay, so lava go there. Water would have to sit here, right? So bam. Get this all done. Uh, that's enough to hold the water in, I suppose. That's going to hold the water in there. And that actually might work right there. So let's try this out. Let's go. Bam and bam. Oh, no. Nothing will be able to get out of there. There's that. So that'll handle that. And I'll leave those other two planks out. Then we need a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. And uh, I think this will work. So, like I said, I'm just doing a little test setup here. Because I have no idea how this loose works. Let's put lava right here, right? Let's put water right there. And there we go. We got smooth stuff. And that is supposed to be a thing. So, <laughs> I'm just assuming. I'm guessing at this point. But uh, let's grab this jazz over here. Because this is, this is what I'm worried about. Let's see how this works. So I have a couple of iron chemical, uh, alchemical ore. We're going to, or sorry, or dust. Throw that in there. Kind of watch this. See if this works. Looks like it's working to me. <laughs> and is it going to use the iron, uh, the stone? Yes. Oh, and I'll put it through the bottom. Okay. I should have built it up. Uh, well, I guess I could put a box. I'm going to move this, so I'm not really that worried right now. Uh, but this is a way better setup than having to use that crystal fluid. I just assumed we were going to have to use that crystal fluid much longer. So we didn't get a second one. Okay, so it's not that efficient at all. So, bam. So I don't know what, how many of these to put in to be efficient. I'm going to have to kind of watch it here. Let's actually grab this while we're waiting. Oh, diamond one. That's actually a good reward. So that is going to give us one for sure. Bam. Then it goes to this bar. And it's not going to make it, right? But it's going to pull the next one. And then fill up this bar. You kind of want this bar to end near the end. Do you know what I mean? It's weird how it works. So there we go. We got our full bar again because it pulled the second one. It's so weird trying to figure out uh, kind of the ratio you want. Because otherwise it gets wasted, right? There, so it's gonna go through, it's gonna produce one. So that's three so far, using two. It's not gonna make it this time, it's gonna need another one. <laughs> so far we've got four for three. Yeah, there we go, that'll be four for three. Oh, I guess five for three. We'll get six for three for sure. See, this is the thing with this mod, it's trying to figure out this magical ratio between your machines and their efficiency and their speed. I just, I just need a spreadsheet, man. <laughs> and again, it's not going to make it. Bam. But uh, with, uh, what is that? That'll be the fourth one. We've already got six. So it's not a horrible ratio. But if we can double that, that's 12, right? Uh, I'm not really concerned. Oh. This one actually might be pretty close here. So four, four, I guess it was four, four, eight. Because this is going to make it. There'll be a little left over. Yep. Bam. There we go. And you see that it starts to go. It's going to waste it, but we don't have another one, so it's going to go away. But the 4 for 8 wasn't horrible. There's probably a better ratio or kind of how you put that stuff in there, but uh, not too bad. Anyway, let's see if we can get it sluiced. So, sluiced. First thing. It looks like we had to break it down here. Bam. Let's break one down. There we go. And... So we only got one rocky ore chunk, so what do I do with that? Okay, I put it here, and then I need water, right? So here, let's grab some water. How's this work? <laughs> oh! It said it was going to double it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just curious now. We might be able to automate this entire process. Maybe not the second... Huh. Because I could put an infinite water over the top, probably. I, I'd have to check it. Uh, but if infinite water works, then yeah, you could just uh, have it going through there, right? 
That's cool. Okay, let's get all of our ore processed out. This is new to me. This is why, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, trying to process it with my head because, uh, yeah, completely new, new, uh, mechanics to be. Pretty cool, though. It is, uh, very manual, but at the same time, you know, it looks like it has ways it could be automated. Just need to kind of lock it down. This works really good, the, uh, the sandstone automation. That is awesome. Um, but this stuff, this stuff here, I'm just kind of thinking it out. Once an iron chunk, what's the difference? Oh, that, well, this is the one that we smelt up, right? That's what it is. So right now, we would have to put one in, then we grab the water, then we come over here and we do that. And that's not really how we'd like to do it. It doesn't seem to care. Whoa. What did it give me? It gave me a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, because I did the iron chunk. That is cool, though. It gave me nickel and aluminum. Remember that. Okay, well. I did not expect that. I totally messed up, but uh, at the same time. Actually, I'm confused. I have iron chunks, right? Oh, it took it all at once. Okay. That kind of changes things. So it did them all at once. And it gave me some byproducts. Okay, it gave me cobble, gave me that, it gave me this. Okay, and I can smelt these up now and get double, I think. So let's try that. Here, throw that in there. And I should get 16 iron out of this, I'm hoping. If we can do entire stacks at a time, that's actually not too bad. So, bam. Okay, that is awesome. Okay. I know I'm saying okay a lot, but at the same time, this is all a little strange to me, a little different. And, uh, yeah, this is much better than this crystal setup. So, getting these ores this way is actually way better than this, because this is a ton of work. Because you have to smelt down glass and use glass, and you can see that it's already full. I've already done a bunch of glass, because I didn't really realize this was going to be a thing. And, uh... Yeah, this is way, way better. So I'm going to end up swapping these and going with this method and uh, maybe look at ways to automate that. But I think we're going to move on right now. Bam. We have the eight of these. We should be able to upgrade our freezer now. So let's go to quest book. Let's go to basic. Bam. So that was the first part. It wants us to have two iron freezers. Two iron freezers. Oh. I don't think I have enough iron for that. Because that means 16, right? And I wasn't banking on that. There's a iron freezer. <laughs> so do these multi-block then? Apparently so. Oh. I just messed up. Okay, I should not have upgraded that until I was ready to make two. Well, you live, you learn. I did keep some extra snow. Because uh, we can kind of use the doubling mechanic of snow to kind of make that, you know, happen, right? Let's go here. Let's get rid of that jazz. And uh, we'll have to make a snowball. There we go. Bam. Let's put the snow here. Uh, shift right click it just once. Put it over here. Shift right click it all. Sweet. Then we're going to spread that out. Actually, let's uh, spread four out. Make another snow. And just kind of just keep doubling. So pretty cool how it works. There we go. Bam. Do the same thing. <laughs> so for we'll make two snow this time. And uh, the reason I'm spreading it out, because if it's on your bar, and you have like an empty hand, the snowball goes in your hand, then you immediately throw it. So, yeah. This makes a mess of things. Anyway, there we go. And I forget what those freezers are. So, freezer. It was just two snow. So we already got enough snow. So let's get that done. Boom, boom. Fix my derp. There we go. And bam. We have that. So we can get back to actually just making the iron nuggets. Uh, which should be... Iron up here. Bam. Uh, we're going to need eight more of these things, right? So we can't even use that one. So it's going to take a bunch more time. Not a big deal. Let's go over here. Let's go to quest. Let's go to quest book. Basic resources. And let's get in the redstone. So redstone. To make redstone for machines. Uh, for machines and redstone mechanisms, you're going to need 880 HU, which is the iron casing. Uh, which means I'm going to need more iron, man. There we go. We finally got some iron ore. We're going to throw that in there. And we're going to grab some water. And uh, throw that jazz. Oh, no water goes right here, right? <laughs> Still a new mechanic to be. Do that. And bam. A whole bunch of stuff. So you do get some free stuff. That is pretty cool. Because nickel, nickel's not easy to get usually. And, uh, yeah. Got nine iron out of this. So not a bad deal there. Okay, cool. 
I really like this mechanic. It's just, uh, this kind of shocked me. <laughs> Messed me up. I shouldn't have done it that way. Anyway, let's go and uh, smelt this up. We did need five more. Let's take a look at the casing, because it wanted us to make a iron casing, right? Uh, iron casing, I believe we needed iron gear, so let's go to casing. Bam. So, yeah, we need eight plates, and yeah, we need five more uh, iron for the iron gear to kind of get the casing done. So let's grab... Oh, we have eight for the plates anyway, so let's throw these here. And I should be able to just hold right. Yeah, I might break my hammer, but uh, not too big a deal. Yeah, we broke it. We got three plates. Making sure it didn't actually, like, break the thing when it broke or something. You never know. Iron hammer. What is it? No, it's a stone hammer. Stone hammer. Yes, grab one of them. Sweet. This magnetic craft, the start of it is actually, it's kind of neat. Kind of, you know, kind of retro. A little grindy, you know what I mean? But uh, cool mechanics nonetheless, so I am happy I get to play with it. Uh, but uh, I'll be happy when I see it gone as well. <laughs> so you see what I mean? It's just one of those things. Let's go here. Bam, do that, and let's go here and let's grab a gear, because uh, we have no better way of making gears yet, so let's grab that. Bam, and uh, we want the casing, right? So let's go iron casing, bam, and bam. So that's cool, and that's finished. So that is cool. Uh, we're going to want to set this up here, because this is what it's for. It's actually for this, so we have more HU, so we produce, uh, you know, better things. So let's break this stone one. We should need that right now. And uh, throw the iron casing right here. Bam. And throw in the stone one. Because we don't need the uh, iron uh, combustion heater yet. Uh, but that should make it, if we look at the back of this actually. So we have, yeah, 1538, which is a really odd number of um, HU. So now we can make a redstone. So let's take a look at what we actually need for redstone. So redstone. We want to make a redstone moving forward. We would need, right here, bam, let's go here, no, let's go here, two gunpowder, two blaze powder, makes four with 888 cube. So we can only do one recipe, so I think that's probably by design. Uh, so to this, to that, oops, do that, oh, that's rotten flesh. I put these here too, to kind of keep these common recipe things, kind of over here, but you can see here, we're getting low <laughs> on a lot of stuff. Let's go up here, bam, 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 and that should theory. Yeah, just give us our redstone. We're good there. And that's how we get that done. So that was a nice easy one. And we know how that one works. So let's grab the quest. Bam. Is there a secondary? Just the redstone. So the next thing it wants is either lapis. So a cauldron can be used for cleaning dirty gems. And possibly getting metals from crushed stone and netherrack. And uh, I think I know how this works. Do we have enough iron? We do. Let's make a cauldron. Let's go here. Bam. Grab you. And uh, let's pop this down over here somewhere near the water. This is going to make our life easier. Uh, maybe you're like right there. Then we're going to need a bucket of water. Okay. And there we go. Throw that in there. Bam. So I think the next part of this is to break down actual stone. And I did make some stone proactively. I believe. Hopefully. Um, maybe I threw it in here. Yes, we have stone right here. Uh, I think we break this down with the grinder. So, where's that at? Right here. I think it has a chance of dropping different materials. So, we're going to kind of try this out here. We'll just do compressed. Just kind of speed it up. Bam, we got seven. Uh, this casing, that belongs in this chest right here. We already have enough for a bucket of milk. We have eight buckets of milk. Look at that. Let's uh, get this here. Bam. And then vein mine. And you see here, we got a whole lot, actually. So, yeah. I think these are all different materials. I think that's the way this works. So I think you have to kind of go like this. So, yeah. You throw that in there. It washes it. Uh, each one uses a little bit of the water. But we're getting some black quartz there. So it is giving us materials. And that's pretty cool. Boom and boom. Oh, maybe? There we go. And I can just do that. And I need that in my bag. That drives me crazy. I, I need a better setup than this. Uh, actually, let's do this. And maybe... Realistically, I'd like the cauldron right there. <laughs> Until we have automation, right? Because uh, I guess I'll put it back here. It's going to be just a little annoying with the water, right? Let's do that. Bam. Let's grab... Which one is it? I need to find out which one the lapis is anyway. So lapis. 
Let's go there. Lapis was. Got a recipe on you. It is the okay. Dirty, dirty lapis use it. Lu, mm, Louisi. There we go. Oh, that's appetite. <laughs> that's not the one I wanted at all. Let's go. Let's get that one out of here. I'm gonna have to get these. That is kind of weird. Why does it give me that stuff? Like, there we go. Let's do the same thing. That's the same thing the uh, Inferium does. There we go. We got ten lapis Louisi. Let's uh try this again. There we go. It's filled up. We can just do this. Get a whole bunch. And there we go. That is pretty cool, actually. Cool little mechanic. Go to quest, go to the quest book, go to basic. It's probably going to want me a bunch of different resources. I want some nether quartz. So one of these is nether quartz as well. Dirty nether quartz, maybe? How do you want me to make nether quartz, man? And okay, I started smelting up stone. Then I quickly realized, because I was reading the quest, that we actually need to make netherrack. So <laughs> netherrack is how the way we get the quartz. It isn't from the stone. So total dirt. Um, let's go back. And uh, see there. It's actually eight cobblestone and three blaze powder, and you get eight nether rack. So I guess we're gonna do a couple recipes of that. Maybe like three. That many. Just so I don't have to make how much that leaves me with fourteen. Um I don't wanna have to go ahead and make uh some more blaze powder right now. But that's pretty cool. And uh, I guess we'll need what, twenty four uh cobble? Let's grab that. Bam. And right there, 24. Get those inside, that and that. And I'll have to do this recipe once at a time, but uh, not a big deal there. Uh, I have to make sure it has fuel too. Let's get here. Boom and boom. Boom through. The good thing about this is I don't waste any fuel at all. It's actually pretty efficient right now because I don't have to open up the top, which is pretty fantastic. Let's organize that. And it'd be what? Three of these. One, two, three. And that'd be eight. There we go. And push push. And we got another rack. So that's pretty cool. Pretty sweet, actually. Try that again. Try it a couple more times. Oops. That uh, totally is not what I want. I definitely need to get some redstone kind of doohickey here so I can kind of stand here and just hit the button. That make my life a lot easier. Okay, apparently that was a quest as well. Let's uh, do it one more time. Bam. Pretty sweet. So we need these quartz gems, which apparently is from crushing down netherrack or crushed. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I should have made one more recipe, but uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's go grab you. Let's compress two of these. Let's actually save the other six in case we need them for something. Because uh, we could make the ores of something as well, right? Let's do that. That and that. Oh. Gave us crushed netherrack. And it gives us this. Okay. So it's very limited in what it gives you. Uh, it doesn't seem to have a big loot table. But there we go. We got our quartz. So that is a little bit of work. Let's go here. Go to quest. Let's go to quest book. Basic resources. And bam. Finally. <laughs> Finally, we're done that one. Seems like this was a quest as well. Uh, what's I want here? Netherbrook casing. Which I have that, but I might need more netherrack to get that done. Uh, we've got secondus, we've got soul sand, so many things. And okay, now that we get that all taken care of, I've seen that uh, we can do this too, just so uh, we can uh, kind of figure this out. This crushed netherrack and this crushed stone, they can get us resources, but at very, very low rates. Like you can even get ardite, you can get cobalt, you can get traconium, but look at those rates. That is like. <laughs> Super, super low. And uh, you're not going to be seeing very much. I probably won't even see anything out of these ones right here. Let's do that. Let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get anything. But uh, that is a way to get, you know, some resources. I guess some bonus ones is what they are. And uh, yeah, nothing really wonderful. I mean, not chance-wise. I think we can automate this later on. I don't know if it ups the rates at all. But uh, yeah. <laughs> not seeing much of anything. I think these ones are a little higher rate. Let's go to here, go to use. Check this one out. Yeah, a little bit higher, like iron's higher, tin's higher, gold's still low. Yeah, we can definitely get stuff out of this. It's just a matter of it happening. <laughs> it doesn't seem to want to happen. It's just... <laughs> Look at it go. I don't think we've gotten anything yet. <laughs> so cheap. Yeah, definitely not something you're going to want to do by hand. I may actually end up just saving those. And waiting until we could do that automatically, because I believe 
This guy resources has a machine that can do that. But I think we need power and all that jazz. Uh, let's finish off our furnace here. So, yeah, we need... I guess we could use this one, right? Bam. Actually make the multi-block this time. Instead of actually derping it. Bam. I didn't realize. I thought, like, half of it worked. And the second one just made it more efficient. I was totally wrong on my thinking. Not a big deal, though. Do that. Get iron freezer. And I believe... Bam. And now we have the full freezer. And, uh, has six slots. Can do a bunch of stuff. Or is it three slots? That might actually probably only three slots. That is probably all output slots. Now that I look at it. And I think we need that. So, let's go to Soul Sand. Because that is another one of the quests. Uh, did it not give me that quest, by the way? What did we actually need for that quest? Let's go quest, basic resources, go to here. And, oh, it wants both of these in my inventory at the same time. Before I get something in here, let's actually get it broken. So we can actually have them both. There we go, we got our quest. And that one's finished. And uh, I'm really hoping another tab opens up soon. I don't know how that works. I don't know if we have to finish it or anything like that. But uh, we need more tabs, man. I do need to get the basic tinkering and we'll start that next episode. But that doesn't look like it's going to take too long to get through. Um, and this one should be finished by next episode. But we got to get netherrack and the... Uh, I'm going to have to get more netherrack. And these ones are going to take a little bit, but it's all just grindy stuff. I think we have to go to the nether, actually. But uh, right now, we're going to try soul stone. So, or soul sand. Let's go to... Actually, let's read the quest, because it'll actually tell us what we need to do. Go here, and let's go here, and let's go to basic. Soul sand. You can make soul sand by freezing sandy netherrack. Okay. Let's actually open you. <laughs> Fancy lanterns. I think there's a, a glitch with those uh, loot boxes right now. There's, like, higher tier ones, but for some reason, it all it's defaulting to one tier. I think that's what uh, Pixel said. Sandy Netherrack. This stuff right here. So, oh, we need Nether Wart. So I'm guessing that's going to be Life Infusion. So we need Spider Eyes. We need that. And some Grass. So, Shear. Can I use this? I wonder if I can use that as normal Shear. Let's go find out. Let's make sure we're standing on top of it. We'll throw that in our main. That in our off. Oh, maybe. That in our offhand. And this is why I built my farm three wide anyway. Boom. Because I knew we were going to need stuff like that. But there we go, netherrack. We have it now. That is fantastic. And uh, our food's doing okay, so I won't worry about that right now. I want to make sure we don't get a pumpkin. Nope, still haven't got one. The RNG is real. Okay. So, sandy netherrack. So I think we just need two pieces of sand. And I can't remember what I did for my netherrack. We had a couple left, right? Because I'd rather not make another recipe. If I was netherrack, I would be right here. Awesome. Okay, let's grab that. We got our sandy netherrack, and it said just throw this in the freezer, right? So let's throw that in there. And uh, what was the time? <laughs> That's really a big part of it. Fifteen hundred ticks. That isn't too long, actually. I mean, every twenty second, every twenty ticks is a second. So I mean, it's not that many seconds when you really break it down. So we'll let that go. Give it a couple seconds here. And, uh, yeah, we'll be done one more quest, and uh, we're progressing really nice. I really, really, am really enjoying this pack. This pack is actually. Pretty fantabulous. We're going through the grindy bits now. It's going to get, you know, more difficult as we go. It is designed that way. But uh, these first parts, before you can really hit automation, is <laughs> pretty grindy. But uh, at least we already hit the point of ore doubling. And uh, we're learning to make all of our resources, which is actually pretty awesome. Anyway, let's go here. Grab that. <sighs> more of this stuff. Just, uh, this is the way I feel about that. Let's uh, use that to smell. And uh, that is pretty cool. I mean... We covered quite a lot. Kind of got a messy setup here. I am going to take this. I'm going to move it over here and get rid of this setup. Because I don't think, unless someone could correct me, I don't think we need this crystal setup. So I kind of just wasted some glass doing this. But like I said, this is this is learning for me, right? But I should be able to take that setup, throw it here, just kind of keep it there and use it that way. I am going to try to fool around with this and see if I can automate this in some way. Because uh, if I can find a way to kind of... Uh, Get the water, maybe automatically pump it in here. That would be actually awesome. But uh, if not, I guess we'll try try some other ways in the future when we have some machines that can move some water around and stuff. And okay, I think we're going to wrap this one up here. I'm just going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop by, say hello. Uh, people in there all the time. That'd be fantastic. Just uh, keep it classy. That's all I ask. Top of that, I also have a Patreon. If you want to check that out, maybe, you know, think about supporting me. Kind of making videos moving in the future. That'd be absolutely fantastic as well. But I am going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video.
Later.